Bloody brilliant. Beers. Bloody brilliant. Beers. Bloody brilliant sport. And welcome back to the Bloody Brilliant Beers podcast brought to you by Bluebet. That's Clutch Time to ask about the Bloody Brilliant Beers. We started out reviewing craft beers on Facebook and now we bring you the conversations that you'd more than likely hear from the front bar at your local and Clutchy. Where are we this evening, mate? mate once again, we're back at the Caxton Hotel. We it's are. a fantastic fucking time as always. It feels good to get a few episodes in a row in at the Caco. We've had a bit of a disrupted month, I guess you could say. Disrupted start to the year. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, we're finally getting into our work and we're joined, as always, on the sports show by none other than Jack Crow. And Caesar's Palace, how are you, mate? Very well, thank you. Good to be here. Yeah, thanks for coming back once again. Clutzy, can you reach that light at all and just tilt it back to you a touch? Yeah, probably. Because it's <laughs> fucking smashing my eyes. Um, this is our sports show. Yeah, that should work. Where, as always, we ask if you're looking for a breakdown of stats and analysis, we would ask that you kindly... Fuck off, just like the light. <laughs> yeah, fuck off light. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit closer than usual. But anyway, we'll march on. Um, how are we, gentlemen? Yeah, good. That's good. Yeah, very, very well. Thank you. That um, is. Just having a lovely, lovely evening. Yeah. Wednesday evening at the Caco. Yes. Footy's back. Back in full swing. It is. It is. Klutz and I had a lovely day out at uh, KO Stadium. Oh, yeah. Weekend. Of course. It was my was little it? brother's birthday, so I couldn't go, but how yeah. was it? Mate, it was fucking great. Um, great. Grouse and everything. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> no, it was, um, it was awesome. It was... Pretty cool to uh, just be able to drive out to a stadium and park your car in the car park. <laughs> yeah. mm. And then- Suburban footy. The traffic yeah. on the way out was a little bit cooked, but it was still only like a 45 minute trip Do you back. get to park in the car park at the yeah, stadium? Yeah, car park, uh, oh, you guys the club. Oh. We got there so, like so six early. hours yeah, to be the fair, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. To be fair, we got there at like, what? 12.30, quarter to one. Yep. Um, bloke did a live show with KO at 1.45. Um, quick shout out to KO, not an ad, but no. thanks for having us at the footy. Um, it was a very lovely day. We got to be up on the deck. Uh, mm. Ran into a lot of frothies downstairs in the leagues club. We took a bit of a walk around the leagues club because I'd never been there before and I just wanted to soak up the atmosphere. Yeah. Holy fuck, there are some pokies at that joint. It's pretty cool. It is like a pristine pokies joint. It's pretty cool as well yeah. having like, um, like obviously when we watch NRL in Brisbane, traditionally it's at Suncorp, which is yeah. like arguably the best stadium for rugby league in the world. So it's pretty cool that like there's also now a stadium where you can get like leagues club vibes, yeah. but yeah. then also watch NRL outside. Yeah, it's like pretty it's just not like, you know, fucking sixth grade, Jeeps, nah. it's like proper. You can go NRL. and get a glass schooner before yeah. the game. And How then just fucking good is that? Walk out the Play doors the and go in. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking awesome. I really enjoyed my time there. Um, and Did it yeah. have Leagues Club pricing? Like, is a beer cheap? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty cheap, eh? Hey? Yeah, I think it was $7 for the schooner we got. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Which is great. That's Which really is what good. you want. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it was something what like it was like a ten thousand person stadium, fully, yeah. fully. Um, Sometimes that's what you need, out. though. But yeah, yeah the, the atmosphere was great. It started off pretty quiet. Um, I don't know the Redcliffe faithful. I don't think had enough piss in them by that time. <laughs> to be fair, I think it was because we looked out at one point and it was genuinely raining sideways. Yeah, right. When the Q Cup game was on, um, which was a great Q Cup game between the Redcliffe Dolphins and then the Dolphins' other feeder club, North's Rugby. Oh, okay, yeah. So, uh, Tessie New was out there having yep. a bit of a run Val around. Val Tafare. Yeah, Val Tafare. Funny yep. story about Val is when we're walking around the Lees Club earlier in the day, some <laughs> guy has come up to Klutz <laughs> thinking he was Val, right? But I thought he was stitching him up like he's a <laughs> listener of the pod and stuff, but he's actually like, oh, you're not him? Oh, man, I was coming up to get a photo. Like, yeah. <laughs> Had anyway, his phone out and everything. Yeah, had his phone out like in a Broncos jersey. Anyway, was, oh, seemed like a nice bloke. Nice to meet you, mate. Like, <laughs> and then we went upstairs off. and ran into him again. And he's like, I've been telling all these people at the front that Val Tafara is at the back. Yeah. Watching um, the podcast. Watching the podcast and telling him to go up and get photos. Wasn't Val Tafara playing? Yeah, he was. Yeah, at the exact same time. Yeah, on the field. And yeah. then one of, uh, one of these, he's like, oh, then my mate said... Um, that it wasn't that I'm just a dumb cunt for thinking it was Val Tafare. And I was like, well, like- Your mate's not wrong. Your mate's yeah. not wrong, yeah. <laughs> um, so shout out if you're listening. I think he asked us about five or six times if we did the podcast as well. Um, so if you are listening, it's good that you remembered, but I wouldn't be surprised because when we last saw him, we're walking back <laughs> to the car and he just grabbed my hand and shook it again and said, what is it again? I was like, bloody bringing beers. He's like, all right, I'll be sure to, I'll be sure to watch. I'll be, I'll be waiting for that follow. He goes, yeah. And then I'll send you dick pics. Yeah. Like sweet. Any dick pics yet? Well, uh, no, but 
as I said to him, it wouldn't be the first that we've copped no. on this channel. <laughs> Probably won't be the last Probably either. Probably won't be the last. But no, um, great day. The Dolphins put on one of the great performances. And I tell you what, the deck at Redcliffe yeah, is a great place. Yep. I think getting a stool would be awesome. It's hard. Yep. That's the one thing. It's hard to watch the footy from up there. Uh, yeah. But the crowd that was in the deck was awesome. so funny. Yeah. Yep. There were some Kiwi fellas off to the right of us that were just – Fuck me. Uh, some guys in front of us were saying, like, all day, these guys just didn't stop. Yep. They had new um, budget direct fins. Yep. And yeah, is that not one of the greatest yeah, sponsorship plays yeah. of so all time? Like, they're doing that again, but yeah. they've got new ones. And uh, they're like, yeah, they've been calling it doing a finny. Yeah. So okay. you pour a beer instead of doing fin. a shoey, and they're doing that, and it's just going all down his front. Um, the Dragons fans were leaving early and copping an absolute gobful, and some bloke was like, Stopped and tried to turn around and be a tough guy And everyone just laughed at him <laughs> um, There was Such one fella shit. who During the bloke pod uh, Was possibly the biggest punish yep. ever. He was fan. a Cowboys supporter It and wasn't he, Donnie no. No. Easy to be confused between a punish and a Cowboys fan yeah. and, uh, <laughs> Like the, you, if you're connecting the dots Yeah you might yeah. think it was Donnie But it wasn't It wasn't in fact Donnie No yeah. but this bloke was absolutely fucked He just kept shouting out And you could see Denim was just like Shut up cunt <laughs> But um, <laughs> Too polite probably can't To be fair say that. Yeah. yeah To be fair I was like This guy sucks And yeah. then at the end of the game I was like I'm all about him He was doing this um, This chant about Luciana Leilua You know if Lucy can play for ya, if Lucy can play for ya, if Lucy can play for ya, you are shit. <laughs> and did that for like the last it 10 was minutes. genius stuff, really. <laughs> so simple, but he had such a booming voice and it was to yeah. great effect. Fuck, and that'd be these crushing to hear as Lil, <laughs> wouldn't it? Or as a Dragon supporter, as we yeah. also found out, we, we looked up to, hit, uh, to our right, so to his left, and about three tables down was this Dragon's family. And there was a chick <laughs> there who I, I thought was going to get up and throw him <laughs> off the edge. Death She's like, of doom. Oh, oh, bro. Yeah. And everyone was pissing themselves laughing. But um, it was a great afternoon. Had a lot of fun with uh, my friend Jack, yep. as well as all our mates from Sydney who came up. Uh, they had to leave at half time, though, yep. which is a bit of a shame, but that's okay. But uh, good times. Go to the Dolphins. You know, I'm looking forward to obviously footy some back for a couple of weeks now, but. Clutch and I were down in Sydney last week for the Broncos game. If you're listening to this, the Bronx are playing tonight, and I cannot wait just to be sitting on the couch. I'm going to order some fucking Domino's. Are they tomorrow night? Yeah, yeah, Thursday, Thursday night. night. Yeah, feed up. Oh. Like, I cannot wait to actually just watch the game properly. Yeah. Like, I haven't watched either of their games properly. Vegas, couldn't see past my nose. Actually, last yeah. week, couldn't see past my nose either. Um, <laughs> Shout out to Danny Vu once again. Yeah. Um, you don't understand rugby league. That's why you're Canadian, because Reese Walsh is a fucking freak. Yeah. And the fact that after the the game, he was still going on about how Reese Walsh isn't a good player when he got two tries and was just so fucking good. What was he saying? He's like, um, he's always um, one step forward, three steps back because yeah. he always um, drops the ball and makes mistakes. Yeah, I was like, yeah, but like, he's always trying to do something, and if he does it, it doesn't work. I was saying so to him, I was like, again. if your argument is that he makes too much mistakes, like, yeah, I could kind of see that, but his. Like prowess and X factor definitely yeah. outweighs the errors, Fucking in my nice. opinion. Yeah. Klutz told me the story on Sunday. I said, if you don't rate Reese Walsh, you should be banned from having a take on rugby league like, for a year. He kept coming I actually Palmer saw you tweet that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, like, I think Blaze Reese Walsh all day here, but. Dead set. I said I said on Twitter, yeah, I don't know how you ever became a rugby league fan if you don't enjoy watching Reese Walsh play. Like, yep. what about the sport appeals to you? Because everything that he does is like the purest, Hot. like unreal. Yeah. yeah. It's like everything he does is positive in terms of trying to progress the game forward, like trying to score points. He is flashy and entertaining and he knows he is and he tries to play up to the crowd, but he also doesn't do it on top of, like he's he's always trying to win. The flash comes with naturally yeah. how he plays. Yeah. Yeah. And he's arrogant and cocky, but it's not in like a way like Luai goes after other players to like pay them out. Reese Walsh just enjoys he's all being about awesome. Himself. Yeah. Like yeah. He's doing swan dives and stuff. It's yeah. not mean 21. It's just yeah. he's good and he enjoys being good. Yeah. I'd yeah. enjoy being good if I was that good. Fucking oath. If I was that good, hot, young, yeah, like fast, fast. Yeah, he, he's so good to watch. Um, yeah, something Shout else. Reece Walsh. Something else. Reese Walsh did throughout the week, um, which progressed the game, in my opinion, was take over the lock screen on my phone. Um, <laughs> knocked, knocked me and my missus engagement photo off uh, the wallpaper. Rightfully so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fucking that oh. photo is obviously if you're listening it's and a not more watching. Meaningful diamond, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. The diamond <laughs> jersey that Reese Walsh debuted is fucking hot to yeah. try. It is hot. 
tell you what, the Broncos marketing team, um, if you're listening, I just want to give you a quick shout out for just fucking understanding that sex sells. <laughs> you've got Reese Walsh and then you've got Paddy Carrigan. But I think in the, collars. In in collars and in diamonds. Diamonds. But I think the thing that really got it for me as well was like those two boys, yep, that's fucking awesome. That's gonna sell to all the new people and the young people who yep. are just like young, hot, fuck yeah. But the one that really got me was Billy Walters sitting down wearing that. He's born in 94. Yep. His dad made that his own jersey as well. And yep. it's like, hello, all Brisbane fans from the 90s and early 2000s. Yeah, ever. Here's yeah. fucking Kevy's son wearing the same jersey that he won grand finals in for years. Yeah. So if you have been living under a rock, basically we're talking about the Broncos unveiling their, is it the Heritage jersey yeah. they call yeah. it? Heritage jersey. Which is a remake of the 94 jersey this year. I actually said two years ago to my missus, because I've told the story on the pod many times, she bought me a replica 94 jersey because I said I liked it at the game mm. once. And a couple of years ago, I noticed that when they were doing their Heritage jersey, it was like in a row. Yeah. And I said to her, I was like, fuck, if they keep doing what they're doing in 2024, the Heritage jersey, jersey will be the diamond and it will be hot as fuck and when it got released i mm. screenshot it and sent it to her i was like did i call this and she was like you absolutely have to buy one of them yeah. like right how'd now. you go and i didn't <laughs> and then i finally decided today to pull uh pull the trigger and they're sold out and i'm yeah. fucking so devastated yeah yeah look if uh once again, if anyone from the Broncos yeah. marketing teams out there and can help Darcy get a jersey, Please. I think he's literally been the saddest cunt all day since yeah. that happened. It was, so. I literally made the decision. I was like, I'm going to regret it if I don't get it and then logged on and there was none left. It's got everything. It's yeah. vintage with the diamonds, collar, yep. like... Fuck, yeah. I almost bought one because yeah. of how hot it looks. Yeah, yeah like, like I wrote in my notes, like, so they actually did this Diamonds jersey in 2017. They did yeah. a remake, but they didn't commit to it fully. The Diamonds were all really tiny. It was like a kind of half-hearted attempt yeah, at okay. redoing it. Didn't have the collar. Yeah. And the thing that a lot of teams do that annoys me as well is they'll do a heritage jersey, but then the shorts and socks, they just wear their normal ones. Yeah. It doesn't go with it. They've also brought back the gold socks to go with Thanks. it as well. Oh. So, like, everything they've done is, like, a completely true to the jersey from back in the day. Um and the way they rolled it out was awesome. Like, I am not shocked at all that it sold out. It's going to yeah, look so the good. The ad they made for it on Instagram yeah, was fucking yeah. so sick. good with the sweeping of the lockers. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was so sick. Are rugby league teams now really leaning into their heritage? Like, it feels yeah, like everyone, so. like, I Melbourne, think just like vintage and yeah, stuff is yeah. sells big yeah, time. Yeah. Melbourne like, this year, I believe, are doing like a, um, like the old boys club. Yep. So they're throwing back to the people that have like helped build the storm. I saw the Tigers. I hate those Melbourne players. Tigers doing their West Tigers Heritage jersey yeah, this year. The Heritage stuff as well. But like um, Chris Lawrence went back and did like a whole like, you know, they've invited a whole bunch of us old boys back to, you know, get in touch with the club. Yep. And, you know, like it's a whole bunch of guys that won them a premiership and shit like yep. that. And people that were really big for the West Tigers. So I, I just feel like more and more NRL clubs are realising that nostalgia actually sells. And sex. Yeah, and sex. <laughs> yeah. Nostalgic sex. Mix the two together. I tell and you you'll what, sell out your fucking heritage yeah, jersey. Nostalgic exactly. sex. There'd be plenty of rugby league people out there who would also vintage be dreaming porn. of times yeah. when they had sex. It's vintage porn. there's a lot of us out there struggling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nah. Wise also <laughs> Wise Heritage jersey as well This year is yeah. a banger And that yeah. sold out Immediately And they yeah. did an awesome shoot Like they went down to this Like local shop in Auckland And it was like Really really cool Yeah Yeah, um, yeah. The teams are on one right Fuck now the Wise just do Everything Like I was saying to Das earlier They just did a collab With Asics yep. And Artie Savia. Savia. Yeah, yeah so And cool. they all got These fucking hectic boots On my like, Fuck yep. Me bro like, The Wise get it man The Wise yeah. do get it Jacko gets it Yep uh, so it. bad time to be the Cowboys against the Broncos in their debut that jersey. Oh, so they're wearing on Good Friday. Yeah. Oh, that's so Such hot. Shit, Donnie. Yeah. That is so hot. You fucking gimp. Yeah. <laughs> big gimp. <laughs> you know who's not a big gimp? Uh, and the last thing I wanted to bring up from around the grounds this week was on what day did we go to the Punt Club Saturday? Yeah. I was it Saturday? Well, yeah, it was I Saturday. Was yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I had my brother's birthday. Anyway, ended up at Grilled with my missus for dinner afterwards and we were walking back to the car. I was checking the uh, football score intermittently, Storm Warriors, and it looked like the Warriors were going to run away with it. And I was like, oh, shit, didn't see that coming. Yeah, walking past right. the Sporting Globe at Champside and I stopped my missus and was like, holy fucking shit, you need yeah. to watch this. It was as Xavier Coates scored the try. Oh, like, I, the first thing I saw was the scoreboard and I was like, holy shit, the Storm won. And then they were like... 
vo- just fucking yeah. Vossi or whoever was losing his mind. I was yeah. like, oh, I better watch this. And I was I was draw on the floor in the yeah, champ's side car park. One of the best tries I've ever seen. Mate, I think it is the greatest. Like, no fucking bias or anything. That is the greatest try I've ever seen. Yeah. He leapt from so far out and just the control. Like, you would not be able, as he said after, he was so humble about it afterwards. Yeah. He's like, oh, I just practice it. Yeah. It's like, there's no way he does that if he doesn't practice Did it. Did you hear the Danny Holy Widler fuck. exclusive with him? No. It only came out like two days ago. Yeah. Apparently he was saying that he was scrolling on Instagram the day before and saw this photo of a dude jumping off the back of a boat in Manly and was like, that's where he drew inspiration for that dive. I <laughs> 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 took me a bit to pick up on what you're talking about there. <laughs> <laughs> he took the flying oh, clots. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> fucking hell. That's where he drew the inspiration from yeah, for the dive. My missus was even saying, she's like, wow, well, like you jumped so high. How'd you jump that high? And I was like, camera angles, baby. How fucking good a it camera It when the bloke is literally underwater. Yeah. <laughs> Like, like below up. sea level. Below sea level. And, and I do have You've got a fucking six foot head start. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was that was incredible. I was texting my mate Traffer throughout it and I was like, how fucking good's this, mate? Putting on a show. He was down there. Um, and then I was like, how the fuck are we doing this? We are bottling this so hard. Yeah. Like, it was fucking hard to watch. But the way they came back was lovely. Um, so, so good. Yeah. That was one of the great victories. Yeah, the fact, like, obviously the try in itself was unbelievable, but the fact that it was to win the game on the siren yeah. is like, Is the coach's name again? Is fuck. it Webster? Yeah, Andrew Webster. Andrew Webster. They Maybe. were asking him afterwards, and they were like, is that like... Is that a really hard way to lose? And he just chuckled. He's like, it's gut wrenching. Yeah. <laughs> but dude, yeah, he seems bro. like a legend. He was yeah, just he's like, a legend. he said, he's like, oh, I would be such a salty person. He's like, what we have to do is sit back and just appreciate Marvel. that that's one of the greatest NRL tries that you'll ever see. Yeah. And he also said, he's like, but not just that. He's like, oh, I was just sitting back admiring Ryan Pappenhausen all night. Yeah. He's like, Puppy's two tries were insane. Yeah. Like, the way he's just on the inside. and Which is great to see. Yeah, it is awesome. I really liked that a coach is coming out. Like, that would be so tough to come out and praise the opposition like that when you fucking literally oh. lost in the last 18 yeah. seconds of the game. Like, that's Mate, fucking can you imagine incredible. if you asked Ricky Stewart after a game, oh, man, that's a tough way to lose. Yeah. Like, what do you fucking think? Yeah, yeah. it was. Like, that's yeah. what you get out of Ricky. Yeah. The only thing that could have made it worse is if the, our ground smelled like <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> fucking go. Oh, that was fucking <laughs> hilarious. I'll get the quote up from Ricky there. If people didn't see... There was a bit of a situation in the nation's capital and Ricky is really not happy about it. Can um, we talk about why uh, it is the nation's capital for a second? It's halfway between Sydney and Melbourne. Yeah. <sighs> so? But uh, anyway, I'm not going to come that big things. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just for reference, it was one of the great Ricky Stewart press conferences, really. If you haven't watched it, I... Uh, I, uh, in- I don't know, recommend you give it a watch. I don't know, I lost my words even thinking about it. But uh, it was like, Ricky, you get one of these Ricky presses every, like two two a year pretty much, where he's super smug in victory and he could talk all day if you gave him the opportunity. Like he was, he spoke for 10 minutes. He honestly could have been there for an hour. He's way too open. He tells you all these things about the players that you probably shouldn't be told or a coach usually wouldn't tell you. Yeah. And then someone gave him the stench question and he just went into this little... <laughs> This little soliloquy about uh, how sp- he's proudly not political, but sp- uh, politics could learn a lot from sport. And like he's dropping all these zingers and Joey Taps is just sitting there like laughing. Like, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> one of the great Ricky Presses. I highly yeah. recommend. I'll have to go and give it a watch. I, off the back of Crow talking about press conferences and shit, because on Sunday he was like, I'm going to go home and load this press conference. <laughs> I can't wait. I, the first thing I'm doing is watching yeah. Flano's press conference. You know what I did? Loaded Flano's press conference. Yeah. Then I had a shower and I had Wayne Bennett playing while I yeah. was in the shower. Flano, not Wayne, fit for a Dragons jersey. That was a good quote. I liked that. Yeah. Who did you say that about? About the, the performance. It wasn't up to oh. the standard of a Dragons jersey, which yeah. I like. <laughs> yep, fucking I. Yeah, what is um, <laughs> <laughs> But we've got here Ricky Stewart. Um, this is a quote. I feel sorry for those people there with the stench. It's shit. I know people <laughs> laugh about it, but we are the capital of Australia. It's absolutely crap. They don't build a stadium to look after Canberra's people. I'm all for education and I'm all for hospitals, but we have to have some <laughs> common sense. There was a concert here last week and all the buses stopped and people were left stranded. It's just like, 
Fuck, what? That what's sounds like Chat issue? GPT wrote it. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> fucked. But apparently, what happened was someone went to do. Someone went to store something somewhere. No, this has been this has been debunked. Oh, really? Uh, this is a this is a further thing in the uh, in the story. That okay. The, the min- one of the ministers from the ACT came out and said that it was the Raiders' fault for storing something where it shouldn't have been, and then it got told that that was that was False. not true. It couldn't possibly have been. It was from a pipe not being right. And it was uh, that rotten egg smell that you used to get at like your primary school mm, bathrooms. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, so that's another. Like the Raiders were already pissed off, and now they've come out and tried to blame the Raiders. The Raiders, and so, yeah. yeah. I can't wait to see what Ricky has to say back, but Don Fernal already show. was not happy. Real shit show. Maybe we should get Crow to, um, or I'm recommending this, you know, we're all political and stuff now about um, holidays and shit like that. Maybe you should start a petition and get it in front of the right eyes to uh, get this stadium going down in Canberra. Do you think yeah, that's yeah. an upgrade? Well, for, for context, the Raiders or Canberra has been looking for a new stadium. It started in 2009. I was reading an article about it yesterday on wow. Canberra Times, the timeline of Canberra's new stadium thing. It is honestly like- Do you often um, read the Canberra Times? Oh, oh, I have a subscription, yes. I read it literally <laughs> all the time. Because um, you get a lot of quotes in it that you don't get in the mainstream media because the Raiders players talk to the local journalists a bit more loosely. Of course. Um, <laughs> but okay. anyway, that's how I found out Corey Horsbrough was playing New South Wales Cup this week, <laughs> Canberra Times. No one else reported it. Anyway, I saw your tweet about oh, that. I was honestly, I had a missing person search out for Corey Horsbrough. But anywho, <laughs> back to the main thing. So <laughs> Canberra want a stadium like they have in Dunedin if you know the stadium, Forsyth Bar Stadium, it's indoor. It's got the glass roof. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's about 25 to 30K. They want that in the city centre. It's been talked about since like 2009, but now it's almost become like the North Sydney Bears coming back or Magic Round getting yeah. moved, all that hybrid game between the Wallabies and Kangaroos. Yeah. It gets raised every year, but you know it's never going to happen. Yeah. And so as of this year, they're, they've guaranteed that there'll be a $500 million stadium in Canberra by 2033, but they're now choosing where to put it. And I think it's not going to be in the city centre anymore. It's still going to be at Bruce, which is where the current stadium is. But they've been trying to get this stadium for so many years and now it apparently stinks. Stephen Larkham also said it stinks. Oh. And um, so I think Ricky was just kind of being like, enough is enough. I, I don't know. care that it was my 250th win and we won by 20 and we're top of the table for the first time since 2005. <laughs> we need to use this platform to push this. <laughs> Maybe he needs to talk to the uh, local journalists in the camp for times. Oh, they've been <laughs> mate, they've been flogging this horse for years. <laughs> if Funny anyone is going to get anything to happen in Canberra, it's Ricky Stewart because he's yeah. like a god. Or Jack oh, Cronin, he is. Yeah, so th- yeah, I think he's trying to use his platform to get it get it moving. Yeah, fucking hard. But yeah, it really should be. I know it's like thing. obviously a big big uh, project, but twenty thirty three sounds like a long time. Like mm, a lot can happen yeah. in ten years. I know, but that's the thing. Ago, it just keeps getting pushed back and pushed back and all that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um yeah, so super annoying. Frustrated for my, my brethren down in Canberra. Yeah. Yeah. You did say the camp or that they've been looking for the the Raiders. You didn't specifically say the Canberra Raiders. Is there a possibility they move out of Canberra? <laughs> no. Maybe they move to Perth. <laughs> if they moved if they moved out of Canberra, would you still support them? Yeah. Okay, because I'm well, not from Canberra, obviously. Yeah, okay. so, yeah. Um, Your affinity with the club is not because you live. What about yeah. the but I would, I would be fur- I'd be marching the streets just like they did in O2 for Souths. Like yeah. I would, I would want them to stay in Fuck Canberra. It yeah, burn, it's burn, intrinsic burn. with the club's identity, but yeah. Yep. I would still support them. Yeah. What about the Ipswich Raiders? <laughs> no, we're not. It moving, makes sense because there's a lot of breaking. Canberra has a team there. and it's the Raiders. You know what's funny? I was unsure when we started this chat if you were serious about the Canberra Times subscription, but it's become apparent you were <laughs> serious. <laughs> oh, deadly serious. <laughs> <laughs> Over the off season, I was reading articles about how Chevy Stewart was a nine year old um, sprinting <laughs> champion. That's how a <laughs> 19 year old New South Wales Cup fullback. And I was reading it like, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> We need, we need some pace. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I'm deadly serious. I read almost every article about the Raiders. <laughs> Do you know what? You know how I know that we're getting older is that I've seriously been considering signing up to multiple online sporting, um, uh, like there's code sports and all that sort yeah, of shit. Yeah. 59 bucks for a year so I can actually read the articles about yeah. what I'm interested in. I'll tell yeah. you what. I have dad's vlogging for tempting. all the like Sydney Morning Herald, Daily Telegraphs, Courier Mail and all that. So it's Fuck awesome. No. See, I have a bone to pick with all those ones. So I used to do the, um, used to be able to get a month subscription for free if you did quizzes and shit. Like, um, <laughs> uh, they used to, what are they like called? surveys. Surveys and that yeah, sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So like- You love surveys. I fucking love a survey. <laughs> I always wonder why I've got I've such got a- I've got a voice that it needs to be had. <laughs> yeah. No, he loves it for the free shit he yeah, gets. Yeah, he gets so much free shit out of it. And you wonder, I, I often wonder why I've got such a backed up fucking- e- Why do I get fucking 50 emails a day? Oh, maybe it's because you've completed a thousand surveys in your 29 years, bro. Unreal. But it used to get me my, my one month subscription to Courier Mail. And as soon as I- fucking run out of it I'd be like 
<sighs> time survey for a survey. Day. Yeah. <laughs> survey day. Survey day. X amount of points depending on how long it goes for. Oh, and, unreal. Oh, mate. Tell you what. Shout surveys. out to surveys. Shout out to surveys. I love them. Marion. Connect now. I was scrolling through Instagram doing some doom scrolls the other day and uh, there's a lot of a lot of sports. Summer sports have their finals on at the moment. Yep. All coming to an end um, as we do get ready for all the winter sports to take over. Going through Instagram stories, clicked on a bloke's profile just because I hadn't seen him around for a bit. And in the profile, it had two in his time, bio. In his bio, two-time premiership winning... Uh, captain for his cricket club. Yep. Now, we know the fella. Yep. He's a fourth grade cricket captain. At what point can you not fucking put what your premierships are in your Instagram bio? I reckon it's the opposite. Like, you just don't need to talk all the facts. Like, you're a, you're a premier rugby Premiership winner. No, oh, yeah, I'm a, leave out yeah. the sixth grade. It's like you're an international swimwear model. Yeah. Like you are. Yeah. yeah, we actually we have we said that to someone, hey. Yeah, when we were just down in in um, San Fran, wasn't it? Oh yeah, maybe. I think we said it to someone in San Fran. Yeah, and they didn't Vegas believe it. Yeah. They didn't believe it. So Get I showed the them. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm an international swimwear. I'm model. on a billboard. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's true. It's what Matty Burbick. But I know what you mean. You know what I mean. It's a claim to fame, sporting yeah. achievement. Two-time Premiership winning captain Art, and he's tagged it. You were actually, that, you know, what's funny. I've only just realised. I've done some prep for this segment, but my Instagram bio actually does have a claim to fame in it right now. Yeah, right. And it says we hold the sixth highest score on Time Crisis Two at Welcome to Bowen Hills, and tags. <laughs> Jordy Madden. <laughs> like, I've genuinely got that in my Instagram bio. Yeah, but you would have been pissed when you did that. Maggot, mate. And I used to, when I was little, I used to, go to, I used to go to Stafford City and play fucking Time Crisis every weekend, but I never had money because I was like six. Yeah. So I had to beg my mum for dollar coins and you'd run out so you never got to complete it. Yeah. I went to Welcome to Bowling Hills, they had it and they had pay wave. I was like, I am literally <laughs> going to spend dang. every cent I have if it means I can finish this game. And it was great. Oh, I used to, my, I don't really do the Instagram bio. I think I've got to yeah. up. Dated. Mm. I used to have um, mine. Used to be I love America. Yeah. Okay. Instead of America, it was yeah. America. Yeah. Um, that's the only time I've ever had a bio. Yeah. But getting back, I just don't think unless you're like, let's say you're um, Reese Walsh. Yeah. Like, well, he hasn't won a premiership. You know True. what I mean? Yeah. They only Didn't played he? for sixty minutes. Well, oh, I, I could have sworn that it off last yeah. year. Yeah, oh, nah. I kid. If you, yeah. if you turned it off too early, you would have missed it. Um, but yep. somehow they lost. Much like that. the storm and the Raiders' seasons turned yeah. off too early. They yeah, did. Right they turned off, the Raiders turned off the right time last year. First week of final. <laughs> yeah. That's all I could take. Yeah, um, all Melbourne all has take, to give everyone else a chance to actually win a premiership because <laughs> yeah. our uh, latest one was twenty twenty. So you know, a bit sooner than two thousand and six. But yeah. that's besides the true. point. Um, you knowing this person, would this be ironic that he's got that in there or not? No. no. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so like the yeah. unanimous are uh, no, yeah. not at all. So yeah. I think you can't, unironically, anything under the professional level. Yeah, like if you play professional, you can have like like a lot of Raiders players have like Raider X Y Z in their yep. thing. Play on player, but like you cannot have your club. <laughs> your club achievements in there. No if you're one not cares. professional. Yeah. Now, if True. this individual is listing, I'm definitely not having a go at your character here or anything. I just think, look, fuck, imagine if I put up uh, <laughs> 2022's Premier Sixth Grade um, Man of the Match yeah. Grand Final winner. Yeah, yeah. You know Clancy's what I mean? basically just asked to do this segment just so he yeah, can, just flex so he can drop that in there. <laughs> can you imagine that 2022 grand final MVP for sixth grade football? Yeah, congrats. Congratulations, yeah. mate. Fucking the 40 year old bloke that was gassed as well. <laughs> yeah. That came so Still going to his wife yeah, and four yeah, kids, yeah, bro. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> fuck. Of course you're going to beat it over that kind. He's going to go back to his family. <laughs> He's fucking beating down every day. Yeah. Like, it's just congratulations to him for being out on the field. Exactly um, right. That's an achievement in itself. Yeah, it really is. So, I yeah, I think unless you've actually won a premiership at the top grade, let's just keep it to that. Yep. Um, in saying that, I do think it'd be fucking hilarious if I start listing everything. Well, I, I've got a few examples of things that I could list in my Instagram bio in okay. terms of sporting achievements. If yep. you'd like to hear them. Um. So the first one, which is not that funny, I, I just thought I could have like. Two times Marsh College Ashgrove's second 11 cricket player. Made the seconds in year 11, which think, yep. oh, that's a good sign. You yeah, know? that is good. Year 12, could be, could be pushing for first. Wrong. Just two years in the seconds. Um, but I, I also had uh, Marsh College Ashgrove's second 11 cricket. Most, most catches dropped off bowling. 
Yeah. There's one game in particular, which yeah. I think we've talked about on the podcast. St. Patrick's. Probably six catches in a game. Yeah. The most disgraceful one, loss what? in Ashgrove Cricket history. Or no, that, that was a different one, mate. That was, uh, <laughs> I think that was actually grade 11, the catches, potentially. No, it was definitely grade 12 because I played thirds in grade 11. Oh, okay. There you go. Not as good as me, but that's fine. Um, oh. <laughs> the other one I had was Marsh College Ashgrove, first 11 football, the first side in five years to lose a game. Wow. So from when we started in school in year eight, our first 11 football team was undefeated, 2008, 9, 10, 11. And in year 12, we're like, fuck yeah. In year 11, a lot of us played in the side as well. So, like, was part of all the yeah, wins. Yeah. Year 12, senior year, like, our team, blah, blah, just lost, like, three games. Yeah, Finished probably. fourth or something. Yeah, We actually were such a shit year. For, we had some oh, very talented athletes. 100%. Some very untimely injuries. Yeah. Fuck, we, we didn't do too well. <laughs> Um, I was going to say, well, if you're trying to flex about how you're better than me um, with the cricket there, I could have that I was a uh, member of the 2011 Morris College Ashgrove First 11 New yep. Zealand cricketing touring squad. 100%. Um, well, how about this to just one-up you there, Clutzy? Okay. Uh, I was actually a member of the 2012 Morris College Ashgrove touring first football side and I got benched for having shin splints. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even fucking play. Up. Went to Auckland, didn't get to play. Had shin splints. It was fucking horrible. Um, all right. I'll see if I can one-up you on those <laughs> ones then. Uh, 2012 first and second 15 touring squad to the National Indigenous Centre of Excellence for uh, Rugby Union for Marish College Ashgrove. Yep. Um, and then also 2012 uh, Brisbane rugby representative for a tour to Hawaii. So I've got an international cap. Yours are legit achievements though. I'm taking the piss out of myself. Nah, definitely not. <laughs> Couldn't you have included your dislocated toe? Yeah, well, we're getting there. <laughs> um, yeah, 2012, um, first man to dislocate their pinky toe while playing touch in Waikiki <laughs> and then to uh, be carried back while smothered in tanning oil on the back of a giant um, for two and a half kilometres. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's an achievement. Get that in the bio. Get that in the bio. a great achievement. Yeah. Um, yeah, fucking all right. Crow, did you have any achievements to... Yeah, i got a few for that. But also, you were talking about your um, seconds two years in a row. I've got to give a shout out to my good friend, Lachlan Jackson, who played thirds in year 10, thirds in year 11, fourths in year 12. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jay, How Jay. Great is that? <laughs> that is so <laughs> he, grim. He regressed. He did. He <laughs> did choose to play fourths in year twelve uh, because okay, we yeah. did a mates team. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's it's fair. still funny because it makes him seem like he was a player of promise <laughs> in year ten, <laughs> and then ended up regressing. We had a bloke who played first eleven football when he was in year ten. So when we were in year eleven, yep. he was in the squad and then never got a start. Unreal. Benched in grade eleven when he was in grade eleven, and then got dropped in grade twelve. Three years. You would have thought well at his feet type thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that our Welsh heritage friend? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Tough. That's yeah. fucked. Yeah, poor bloke. That is so rough. Yeah. Same thing with our goalkeeper, actually. Was on the bench for two years, and then when we were in grade 12, young hot prodigy came through from year nine and got the starting spot. There's always someone. Yeah. Fuck. Sucked in. Um, what do you got on your list, Craig? So I do have, um, obviously, owner of the worst figures on flat <laughs> in Flats history. Yep. Um, most balls lost in one day. <laughs> Got two of those wrapped up. <laughs> then I also have, um, I believe, only man to break both wrists at once on college campus. Oh, really? What? Yeah. yeah. How, what 12. happened there? In uh, so, 12, yep, you yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolute loser. Yeah. The story's oh. even lamer as well. So it was, it was basketball training. It wasn't the first. I've dropped that in, so it seems a little bit cooler. Um, but we, I was trash talking someone on our team at training about he was a point guard and I was a center and he was really slow. And then um, our coach was like, all right, well, you guys um, do a sprint baseline to baseline um, to see who's actually Fastest, faster. Yeah. And uh, if you know the, the walls in the Champagne Centre, oh, they're yeah. very close to the baseline. Holy fuck. No. And if you know me, I'm a born winner who will do anything to win. <laughs> and uh, the other guy slowed up towards the end and I did not. And I won the race and broke both my wrists <laughs> running into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so you just sprinted into a wall yep, and bang. broke both like, your wrists. Like, all happened very fast. <laughs> like, wrist, my wrists were immediately swelling up a fair bit. Holy um, fuck. They were, like, pretty for? weak. They, oh, it was right towards... It was literally just before we graduated. Like, I was in these 
weird splints for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Everyone's coming to me like, even your rates are coming up to me like, can you wipe your ass when you shit? Like, oh <laughs> so annoying, but yeah, pretty embarrassing. Yeah, that would have been like Forrest Gump with the leg ones when yeah. he fucking starts running away. And like one, one you. brace or like that type of thing is a funny, is like a cool story or whatever. It looks normal. When you're walking around school with double braces yeah. on, you look like such a loser. Yeah, the deuce brace. And I was already one to begin with, so it didn't help. That's so funny. Clutch, Holy wasn't there a bloke in our grade who broke his leg or his foot? And then he was in a moon boot and because he favoured his other foot so much, he broke that foot and ended up in a wheelchair. <laughs> Swimmer. Oh, you yeah, know I swear. About? I swear someone did that. I know who it is. I just don't want to name him. TM, initials. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. That definitely happened. Yeah. Yes. He was in a wheelchair. Yeah, I do feet. remember that actually. Yeah, I know yeah. who you're talking about. Yeah. So fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it's so crazy how that shit happens. Yeah, 100%. Did like, one of your mates get gaming finger or something? Oh, <laughs> yeah, fuck me. We've yeah, spoken about that so. before. I'll, I'll fucking name so. it. Yeah, that yeah. Repetitive strain injury from playing <laughs> too much Call of Duty. During COVID. That's yeah. a badge oh. of honor. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Is that the biggest G up I've ever heard in my life. Because then when you can meet up together during COVID, like once all the restrictions and shit were done, people used to get his splint and put it on their cocks. Yeah. Yeah. People. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just one time. That's so funny. <sighs> oh, yeah, hell. fuck it out. A bit of a talking point this week, very topical for us in the Olympic City itself, live on the ground, is Brisbane has made some announcements, or the Queensland government has made some announcements for how they're planning to do the stadiums for the 2032 Olympics. Yep. Yep. Um, and so, obviously, the Olympics this year will be in Paris. 2028 will be in beautiful Los Angeles. 2032, it's looking like, will be in Nathan slash Mount Gravatt. <laughs> Um, at the smallest athletics ground since the 1928 Olympics. Yep. Um, 1928. Uh, sorry, 1928. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, the Queensland government essentially paid former Lord or paid for a um, review done by former Lord Mayor Graham Quirk yep. to be done in 60 days that cost 450 grand. <laughs> They said, um, whatever you recommend is what we'll move forward with for the stadiums because people were pissed off about the Gabba apparently going to cost $2.7 billion to get Mate, knocked down. I swear, every time I see an article, it's the Gabba's on, the Gabba's off, yeah, the, the Gabba's yeah. on, the Gabba's off. So we got the Olympics what? three years ago. We're at this point now yeah. where we're doing this. So Graham Quirk did this recommendation. I actually had a read of it because I'm quite interested in this now. Was it in the Canberra Times? It. <laughs> no, it was not, unfortunately. But um, I did manage to find it on my, um, on my search. But... Uh, <laughs> So he was scathing about the Gabba, essentially said it doesn't meet building compliance and stuff. And I think anyone who's been to the Gabba knows, yeah. compare it to like the, cool. the new Adelaide Oval, the new Optus yeah. Stadium in Perth. Yeah. It is by far the worst stadium yeah. out of the big cities in Australia. It yeah. needs an upgrade it's now. A, it's just a bit dated, right? Yeah. Right, it's yeah. Got no, I think one of the biggest reasons for why they wanted to do it and why this is a perfect opportunity, it's got no access yeah, dude. for yeah, wheelchairs. people for wheelchairs. Yeah. Also yeah. public crazy. transport out of there. Yeah, sucks. And Compared also, to they sucks. reckon the route, like the um, sails along the roof, will need to be replaced. Otherwise, yeah. they'll Thanks cave Brett in Lee. and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so he was scathing about that, and then he was also scathing about this Nathan development, which they will have ended up choosing. But he recommended a fifty-five thousand seat stadium built at Vic Park because it ties in with the Cross River Rail. It would cost yeah. three point four billion, but at least after the Olympics, we will have a new stadium. They'd knock down. It means the teams wouldn't have to move out of the Gabba while it's being Build. redone. Yeah. They just build this. Once that's done, the Gabba gets knocked down, turned into whatever. Yeah. And you now have this state-of-the-art stadium in the middle of Brisbane. Win, win, win. All Yeah, all wins. It just costs a lot. But now what they're going to yeah. do, pay $1.6 billion to turn Nathan Cusack, which is the host of the ARC High School Athletics, yeah. Yeah. into the Olympics um, so venue for up. athletics, which has terrible public transport, yeah. has nothing going for it. Also no. so far away from like the city centre. Yeah. In Once the middle of nowhere. With the Broncos. Yeah. Yep. You've and competed there, have you not, Co? I have. That's a claim to fame, surely. It's, yeah, exactly. Like, as we just said in the previous segment, maybe just leave out a few details. Like, yeah, yeah I competed at that stadium. Exactly. Before the redevelopment, yeah, but before. no one needs to know that. But yeah, and so once the Olympics are over, it's going to be te um, torn down back to 14K. Are you serious? So it's, not even, so it's 40,000 for the Olympics, temporary seating, then back to 14K. Temporary seating is yep. grim. And then yep. today- uh, They did it for the Com Games, so. though. Yeah. And yep. then today, um, Grace Grace, which is a great name, just quietly, but- Grace um, yeah, Grace Squared. We're actually yeah. lobbying towards her for six more songs day. So oh, be careful yep, what we say here. Yep. So she's come out today and said that um, the Gabba will need to be redeveloped by around th 2032, but that's for future governments to deal with. Yeah, so okay. they're, all yep. they're essentially doing is trying to 
do what is best in the short term to keep them in yeah um, in, pl- in power. Yep. Um, and Brisbane is looking like it's going to be worse off for it because we're going to get nothing in terms of awesome infrastructure for the Olympics. Perfect. But what that leads us into is if we're looking to save money, yep. a couple of people who know Brisbane quite well, lived here our whole life, the yep. three of us, yep. maybe had some suggestions for how we could help them save oh, money. Yes. Yeah, we've got a few. Uh, oh, that was a good crack. Yeah, that was a good crack. We've got a few alternate locations that certain sports could take place in. Um, yep. Did you want to kick us off? I can kick us off for sure. The first one that I thought uh, one of my favourite events at the swimming. Also, yep. you might notice I'm in alphabetical order because I went through a list of Olympic sports to write this list. But the artistic swimming, synchronised swimming, yep. Uh, yep. an absolute spectacle. I thought, you know, they obviously have cameras under the water to show you what's happening, which is great. But mm. I thought, like, not only is this uh, saving money in terms of we don't need to build a new pool, but you won't even need to have underwater cameras because we're going to underwater world. In the tunnel, on the conveyor belt, clear yeah. out the sharks and shit. Imagine that. You can sit on the conveyor belt while the Olympics is taking place over your head. Apparently it's, it's called perfect. Sea Life now. Se- what? Oh, yeah, underwater yeah, world? I found it's that at work changed, last yeah, week. Got so yeah, it's called Sea Life. Fucking Did you do the school excursion where you got to sleep in the- No. Um, we got no. to do that in year six. Dude, I reckon I would have been scared shitless it was pretty cool, as a kid. Man. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Yeah. But how um, good would that be? What yeah, a view. Yeah, that would be sick. Yeah. yeah. And save money. You're literally like in the pool with them yeah. while they're competing. It's, yeah. It's almost purpose built for it. Fucking oath. Well, obviously rugby sevens is the premier sport of the Olympics. Yeah. Um, and what better place to host it than GPS Rugby Club? <laughs> I like that. Oh, can you imagine Shock how me well that was in fucking there. Herbie would have that <laughs> oh, organised? The meat tray raffle. I was going to say, yeah, yeah the canteen, <laughs> the works burgers. Herbie would offer it as a two for one deal because we do have some lawn bowls right behind us yes, because the bowls dude. club hasn't been knocked down yet. Yep. So uh, again, almost purpose built just for it. What a call, uh, give me a better day out than fucking rugby sevens and lawn bowls. Yeah, at Yoku Road. At day. Yoku what would Road. Nathan Shaw's role be in this um in this day at Jeeves? Oh mate, he'd dart be making sure that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> chief dart, dart puncher, puncher and yeah. distributor of drinks. Yeah, just vibe operator. Yeah, vibe yeah. operator. Like yeah, he'd yeah. wear many hats. He'd <laughs> wear many hats. I'm sure. Yeah, um, for my first one, uh, speaking of premier sports, the Olympics, three on three basketball. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of our favourite sports, the Olympics. It's played on half court, I believe. Yeah, okay. yeah. And so obviously around Brisbane at the local parks, you have those little concrete. Yeah. With the hoop. Yeah. Yep. Now it might be not in our price range because a lot of them don't have nets, and I think you have to pay to get the nets put into the hoops, yep. which might be a little bit expensive. But otherwise, why not just play them at the local parks on the concrete? Uh, yep. On the concrete That'd be course, so simple. Good. Yep. You could almost have it as like a surprise. And now imagine yeah. if you yeah. wake up, holy fuck, they're in seventh brigade today, just yeah. down the road. How good's that? <laughs> I might roll down and that. watch it. Yeah, let's go down and watch fucking LeBron in, in <laughs> the seventh brigade. <laughs> fuck yeah. Um, another one I had being a staunch north side. I've also just realized that anyone not from Brisbane will probably won't understand any of this, but <laughs> too bad. Um, the canoe slalom. Yep. Jess Fox, I think it was. Yeah. He's the Australian hero. Um, this is probably dependent on a bit of rainfall, but where else would you rather have it than the Kedron Brook? <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck yeah. Through the rapids. Well, you like, know, we could just give a quick shout out to the Wyvernhoe Dam and yep. just open that up and yep. get Let some real flow, river bro. rapids <laughs> Let going. Let it flow, yep, yep. That'd yep. be so good. That would be great. It's such a long stretch. Imagine people just banked up. It'd be like park run on a Saturday morning. <laughs> fuck yeah. Jess Fox flying down the fucking That'd brook. That'd be so good. I yeah. love that. Um, I think netball. Yeah, really <laughs> needs to branch out a bit. Yep. Netball um, doesn't get much of a viewing. If you want to get more people, this place, you can have shit tons of them there to watch it. And yep. it's standing seating as well, so yep. it's even more. Standing seating. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Perfect. You know what I mean? Viewing, standing <laughs> viewing. Same shit. Um, anyway, that's rattled me. <laughs> um, but Downey Park. Yeah. Now, for those who aren't familiar with it, Downey Park, it's down near the hospital. And um, it's just all these open air fucking how grass far, yeah, courts. How, many courts how far on? do you reckon my mum's old house is from Downey Park at Kedron? How many Ks? Two and a half. There's that many Three. whistles at Downey oh, Park. You yeah. can hear them from my yeah. mum's old place. Really? Really. Holy fuck. Fucking loud. That's crazy. That just goes there to show so you. There are so many games on at yeah, once. Fucking Dude, Downey Park pumps. also has, um, it's also got field hockey. Yep. Uh, they do have some clay courts as well. Yep. If we really wanted to get fucked, we could turn that into uh, a tennis court. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then just down from Downey Park is also- Nitro um, boxing gym. Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> Go to Nitro and that's where you can fucking have punch-ons. Punch yeah. Yeah, that'd be lovely. <laughs> Yeah. I like that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I was kind of going down a similar path with Klutz with the, the multi-sport. I was thinking 
Taylor Range Country Club. It's got yep. squash. It's got tennis courts. It's got a 25 minute swimming pool. Yeah, just Fuck knock yeah. them all out in there. Yeah, bang like it out. That. It's like got that parking. Little. Great to get pissed out as well. Had a few oh, 21st there. Yeah, cheap. Absolutely. Piss. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. Um, another one I had one of the premier locations of Brisbane. I sort of looked at this two ways. One was looking at what sport you know can we yep. custom yep. fits a sport somewhere, and then else is like, oh okay, what's an iconic Brisbane location? How about we play the beach volleyball at South Bank Beach? Yes, that would be I unreal. Can genuinely be sick. That would that actually would be, be so cool. good. Yeah, yeah. You can go to the streets. Just don't ice swim cream. in the water. Get your streets <laughs> ice cream and yeah. sit there. And yeah, Cornettos. Fuck, fuck they're good. Oh, we talked about that the other day. Yeah, we did. Fuck. We did. But tell the you what, chalk the, bottoms. I don't even yeah. know if it's cornetto or drumstick. Whatever. They're Same both fucking good. Thing. Yeah. Um. Also, had another one for cricket. Will cricket be in by that point? Yeah. 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 Awesome. Is. That's well, what the, that's the only thing the Gab is hosting now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, we're going to Seventh Brigade Park. Yeah. They've got. Fucking what nine Heaps of fields Nine yeah. different cricket fields It's out at Chermside And rain, hail or shine They seem to play out there They don't give a fuck I also had cricket But I had um, the Marsh College Ashgrove Flats that Where Cronin like, got spanked uh, Exactly 9 for 52 It's off a good place overs. to be a left hander <laughs> 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 I'll tell you Top edges fly into the creek Yeah Fucking it up. Um, I had the 10 metre diving Off the uh, high boards Yep Hornybrook Bridge Out at Red On oh, the way out to Red nice. Imagine that What a picturesque That'd viewing so Again line good. the bridge Full of people I've got stacks here If you want me to yeah, keep, please, going. keep going Yeah keep going The street luge <laughs> Down Mount Cootha Imagine that <laughs> <laughs> That would be that good That would genuinely be good viewing uh, What else have we got BMX freestyle The Paddo Bowl obviously yep, Iconic yep. spot Next to Suncorp Stadium yep. um, The Equestrian Which is a no brainer To have at Eagle Farm Or Doombin uh, For the boxing Instead of Nitro I actually had the ring That the Alpha Blokes Have built in their backyard <laughs> um, You can ship it anywhere Yeah exactly right And the last one I had Was uh, trampolining And I thought we could have that At Donnie's parents house <laughs> <laughs> That's good so It'd that, that be big enough To hold a lot of people <laughs> Yeah <fuck laughs> would, yeah. yeah you lucky cunt He might actually Fucking compete in something For once Yeah Donnie's never competed in his Get life. the kid bouncing. Yeah get that <laughs> kid bouncing um, I don't really know What other sports there are yeah, I Athletics think I think we've just solved All yeah. the issues Oh We could do the 100 metres Down Caxton Caxton Street I did think oh, that, that as well be good. That would be great that. that lined with punters Would be a lot Oh yes oh, I almost feel like We should do something For magic around there Some sort of well, Maybe like, like a, Olympics. Or like a budgie Smuggler relay or something yeah, Down Caxton nice. yeah. Street I was looking at Roasty's idea And I was like Fuck that'd be funny To do in budgies Yeah Anyway, stay yeah, tuned for stay that. The Queensland government want to pay us 450k for that review of um, <laughs> stadiums, please. <laughs> Let us know. I, I'm happy to ne- negotiate with price as well. Yeah. yeah. Maybe throw in a Canberra <laughs> Times subscription. <laughs> <laughs> Should we add tips quickly? Yeah. Yep. And crows. <laughs> yeah, I've got my attendance. list. Of, yeah, I've got my list of attendances. I love that you've got it pre prepared. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Do you want to lead this one off? Yep. See, I think we've only got eight minutes on that camera, yeah, but that sweet. should be it. That's all right. right. It'll be heaps. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. So we'll do our tips. Last week, I think we did all right. Um, <laughs> quick. <laughs> I think I've changed my heaps from what I said on here. Yeah. I, I got seven last week on the app, but I was worried halfway through the week. I hadn't checked yet. And I was like, God, I think yeah. I got a lot wrong. Yeah. I, I think I said differently. Give a quick shout out to my dad, who whenever dad does something um, good in his books, he'll message BBB Darcy bosses. and I. The BBB bosses. Which uh, is just the group chat. It's the just three of you. us two us and Cutsy's dad. Yeah. Unreal. Um, and he said that he got eight from eight in the tipping and usually he puts that into a multi, but he forgot to this week. And I know he does. It's always that way. Um, and he also was going to then multi that, I believe, with Mark, Mark Nichols, Nichols' anytime try oh scorer. Oh my God. So he said, I'm out of a bit of money there, but one of his black books did come up. It was a $10. He went each way on it. So he is Not up. all bad. Not all bad, but he, he just doesn't doesn't have enough as, well, as much as what he thought. Yep. So- uh, Maybe you'll Shout go out to me this yeah. week, Shout Michael. out to Cutlet Buck Senior. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, Hammy is so quick on that shit. Yeah, hey, I literally picked it up, looked around, and the phone was already in my face. Yeah, he's he already got just you. Just Cutlet Buck. Knew. Yeah, very he good. Knew. Very, very good. All righty. But Thursday, tonight, if you are listening on Thursday, we've got the Panthers hosting the Brisbane Broncos, 10th versus 9th. Bronx <laughs> out to four bucks. Fucking yeah. hell. Payne Haas out. Adam Reynolds Hurts. out. Yep. yep. Fisher Harris out for the Panthers though. Yeah. Saving grace. I'm tipping the Broncos because <laughs> I'll tip the Broncos every week. But that for you. Um, to say I'm confident would be a blatant lie. I'm going to go with the Panthers here. I don't want to though. I'd like that on record. Um, yep. But I was saying some of the boys, I'm still in a fantasy chat even though I'm not doing it. One of the great wall pulls of all time. Um, 
they were saying how shit it is at Haas' out. I think there is a sort of silver lining here. Xavier, Xavier Wilson, Wilson comes into yeah. the team. Yeah, call him by his real name, please. Who? Xavier Wilson. Yeah, what's Mr. Standing on Business. Oh, Thank you sorry, very much. Mr. Standing on Business. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I, I don't even know remember Xavier what Wilson it, is. I, I couldn't even remember what it was, but I knew it was. Uh, <laughs> so Mr. Standing on Business comes in Shout and out. he will just be producing bulk business. I think he'll show his worth and then he'll be staying yeah, he'll in there afterwards. Spot. It's probably the, like, the best thing that could happen almost. Yeah. Um, Good replacement for Payne Haas, that's for sure. Um, The other thing we're introducing this week is Jack Cronin, along with his tips, is going to give us some insight into his great mind because he is actually very good at predicting crowd numbers just based off uh, location and teams. Weren't you three off for the Sharks game? three singular people. I did have a bit of a leg up there because I knew it was a sellout already, so I went Uh, with the max capacity just uh, just off. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I was close, though. So give us a tip for this first game, but also how many people you think you So my tip is the Panthers, and I'm going with 18.905. 18 at, uh, out of Blue Bet Stadium Thursday night yep but last year they opened with 16-9 on, on their first Thursday night game of the year last year on a Thursday night they, they sold out for para so yep. I'm like I'm sitting somewhere between that's my thinking yeah okay I like it a lot I think that makes perfect sense yep. moving forward to Friday the first game the Waz versus Jack's uh, Canberra Raiders oh. in Christchurch New Zealand I yep. am going the Waz I think they were unlucky last week against the Storm but yeah I'll be going the Waz here um, I just think they're going to come back and and maybe show... I also uh, watched no footy this year, so I have no idea who's hot and who's not. I've watched too much. The Raiders are hot. But they dropped <laughs> Zach Hoskins. What do you think no, about No, he's still... Mate, it's, but he's on the bench. He is on the bench. It's Mayo Deluxe, really. I think... I think Ricky loves doing a thing where a starter cut, plays 20 to 25 minutes and then doesn't play the rest of the game. I think that might happen with Whitehead as he's being phased out, but I think Hosking will still get bulk minutes. Is Whitehead not the captain though? He is the captain, Fuck. but Jared Croker was also the captain and he got dropped and benched at multiple points. Yeah, I okay. think I think Hosking will still get big minutes. The bigger thing is that Corey Horsburgh is playing New South Wales Cup. Yeah, what the fuck's going on there? Yeah, don't start me, rabbits. But um, anyway, <laughs> I I will be tipping the wires and I dare my beloved Durst to prove me wrong. I dare them to prove me <laughs> Go wrong. On. Yeah, um, I'm giving them another hate. I cannot believe that you don't tip your team every week. Um, it's me. It's the Raiders thrive off adversity. Yeah, and I'm telling okay. them, I don't believe in you. Prove me wrong. Yeah, <laughs> secretly behind closed doors, though. God, I do. Seventeen, <laughs> seventeen thousand and ninety-seven is what I'm predicting at Apollo Ghost Stadium, Christchurch. Okay, before we go into um, the next Friday night game, I've just got some breaking news. As we were talking about the BBB bosses chat, a message has just come through <laughs> from one Mick Clutterbuck. This will do me. He's backed no statement. Uh, He's had ten dollars on the nose, and it's gotten up paying fifty two seventy. He's just won five hundred. He's just won no five hundred twenty bucks. Thank you, Blue Bet. <laughs> Thank no you, Blue Bet. Nick. Uh, anyway, let's move on. The second game on Friday night. Uh, <laughs> I love how the, the comment with that. This will do me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, the Sydney Roosters versus South Sydney at Allianz Stadium. Um, fuck, it's a tough one. I'm gonna go the Rabbitohs. Is it tough though? Mm, wow, oh, that's well, a big call That's the def- that's, yep. um, that's showing you haven't watched much rugby uh, league this year yeah, I will be going with the Roosters Okay, good Because, on you. fuck me, the Rabbitohs are in absolute shambles at the moment Yeah, okay Mate, I just the, got a feeling That interview with Mansour the other day Yeah, yeah A lot telling. of people took that the wrong way Mansour, I don't think, was saying that he should have necessarily been there mm. um, I think he was more so saying that the communication was communication poor. was yeah. shit. Just tell me what's happening and I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is fair enough. Which if that sort of shit's happening with a veteran player like that, imagine what's fucking happening with the young boys yeah. who are on the like sort of the verge of making it or yeah. not. So I think as crisis time, the Roosters are looking hot. So I'm going to go the Roosters. Fair enough. I'm also going the Roosters, and I'm going thirty-seven thousand eight hundred forty-two at Allianz. Oh, big crowd! Big crowd. It's, a, it's, it's the oldest a, yeah. rivalry in rugby course, league. If they weren't their salt, they should be there. Yeah, exactly right. But I think they are. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, moving on to Saturday, the Bulldogs versus the Titans in the Who Cares Cup. <laughs> no, that's a dog ass. Um, I, Stand I, by it, you coward. I'm going to go the underdogs again, go the Titans. Nice. Yeah. I like, I like Away, the but yeah. I'll go on the Titans because Foran's back. Oh, that's I like big. That too. I didn't know that. I'm being a coward, sticking with the favourites. I'm actually going the dogs. The, uh, more importantly, the first one of the season, and most importantly, sixteen thousand eight hundred five at Belmore. Yeah, okay. A multicultural round as well. Come yeah, on, yeah. Turn up, boys. Turn up. Surely, surely. Uh, the second game on Saturday sees the Dragons play the Cowboys at uh, Jubilee Stadium in Sydney. Got to go the cows there, surely. Yeah, I'll be going the cows there as well. Cows uh, for me. 
Chaos definitely. 10,450 out at Net Strata. <laughs> yeah. 10,450. Love it. Yeah. And to um, I just think it's crazy how <laughs> are you the dragons. Down yeah. Down yeah. I've got this screenshot with a timestamp as well, just <laughs> yeah. for awesome. just for receipts. Um, yep. The dragons haven't changed after that statement from Flano saying. Yeah, but I also I don't mind it in, in like a you know um, I'm giving you boys one more chance to yeah. uh, to restore Proof my faith wrong. in you. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. Okay, rounding out Super Saturday, Tigers Sharks at Leichhardt Oval. Sharks, no. Sharks for me. Oh, I think Aiden Caesar. Yeah, he's in the seven. Take that seven jersey. <laughs> he's been jersey. parachuted in. He's been parachuted in. He's coming in hot, and I think the Tigers are going to get up. Right, I'm going Sharks. I'm also going Sharks. <laughs> Any time there's Aiden Caesar half, I'm jumping on. But uh, thirteen thousand one hundred twenty-seven out at the Lily Field rectangle will turn out for uh, for Caesar. Yep. I love that. Um, I just think, sorry, if the Tigers cared about fucking Benji and their coach's name, a club legend, like the greatest player that that club's ever seen, mm. I think they'd come out and fucking play for him. That young fella Galvin's got a yeah, bit of ticker about him, does. and Aiden Caesar played for the Raiders. He did <laughs> And that's, that's, a, that's the only thing And he's a friend of the show So he'll play yeah. well Yeah exactly um, Okay Moving on to Sunday 24th of March Eels versus the Seagulls Combank That will be a good game Amen I'm tipping no. the Seagulls Yeah I'm going the Seagulls Something well. about them As much as I hate to say that mm. Something about them uh, I said the other week That the Seagulls I've been brought up to hate But I'm finding it very hard To hate them at the moment Yeah um, correct Ruben Garrick Fucking hot as fuck uh, Cherry Evans He is Queensland He is our captain Our captain My captain um, I'm just going to Back the Seagulls Yep uh, Every year There's a team that's good That I doubt For way too long This year It's the Seagulls Haven't tipped them yet This year We'll not be doing it This this week either I'm going the Eels And I'm going 26-8-9-3 Out at Combank Combank. Stadium Nice Sizable crowd Good crowd again And to finish off the round Another good game uh, The Knights Versus the Storm McDonald Dome Stadium Newcastle how the fuck are the Storm Outsiders here in $1.98? Yeah. Because Tyron Wish It is seven. <laughs> Call him Maker Wish It. And? <laughs> Tyron Maker Wish It. And? Uh, I like the, ni- I like the Knights, man. Out, I yeah. like the Knights here. All right, well, I'm going fucking Melbourne. All right, well, we'll see. Yeah, well, yeah. fuck you, Jack. Yeah, the don't Knights, take it personally. Newcastle's just a you're... tough place to go and win. Only premiership contenders can really go in there and do it, especially in 2024. I will be curious to see... How they go They've dropped Jackson Hastings He is no longer the seven Despite what you heard On Netflix over the summer um, <laughs> I think they desperately Need a win and The Cronin curse Yeah the Cronin curse Hopefully they go after Cleary next No I, we love Nathan <laughs> <laughs> um, 3,910 I, I can't remember if I said oh, that. What was that? 20,910 like Belting that. out the Screaming Jets better I am going to back The Knights as well But I think Very close game Very tough game Honestly If Cronin hadn't have said That Wishart was out I would have tipped the storm oh, Wishart is in Hughes is out Oh Wish Sorry yeah Wait Hughes out? Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Get me off yeah. um, Also I saw a clip about uh, I think it was The Possibly the worst um, NRL show NRL 360 uh, Which always has a lot of great uh, Tweets about it Yeah mm. A bloke on there, no idea who he is, was saying about how Jackson Hastings decided not to train with New South Wales Cup. Bulldog we can't Richie was who said it. Oh, was that him? <laughs> yeah. I could not tell him because Mason's of his favorite. chubby face. Yeah, he's um, got a face he's like a yeah, drop lasagna. Like yeah, a bulldog. Look, I can't really talk, but fuck, that man's put it on a bit recently. <laughs> um, anyway... <laughs> Um, that has nothing to do with him, but anyway, <laughs> um, I just think when you're trying to say that a man's been asked if he'll train with New South Wales Cup after being dropped, and he goes, "No, I'll just go home." How is that not cracking the shits and having a dummy mm. spit? Yeah, it's like if you fucking care, allegedly not true. Oh. I must say. So yeah, apparently, New South Wales Cup from, weren't playing. Yeah, they weren't, weren't training. training. They were doing a swim and a massage. And yeah. Adam O'Brien said, "Mate, just go, go home, home. And deal with it, and come back tomorrow." Yeah. And he was there at seven fifteen a.m. on Wednesday morning, according yeah. to my spies in Newcastle. So Bulldog Richie's just talking shit once again. Hey, oh fucking, well, it is true they didn't train New South Wales Cup that day, but it's just it, clickbait. It's, it's, it's just fucking been NRL three hundred and sixty all over. Yeah. It's a nothing statement from Bulldog. Yeah. If you can believe that. Yeah. Shock me. All right, Unlike well, this podcast, hard yeah, hitting Which facts. is exactly, exactly. <laughs> well researched opinions. 59 minutes of just pure. <laughs> oh, Chevy Stewart was a nine year old. <laughs> 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 per the Canberra Times. 
<laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, if, if I want to know um, if anyone's out there, what's the most obscure bit of print media you're signed you up to yeah. to get um to get your sporting news? Yeah. Because there are going to be some real fucked ones out there. Yeah. The Kingaroy Times. I don't reckon we're <laughs> ben be- Hicks. I don't reckon we're beating the Canberra Times, though. Well, imagine the Dolby Times or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will Eastwood out for season. <laughs> <laughs> Drank too many rums. Potentially. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sad day for the uh, Dolby Wheatman If that is true Yeah Anyway That's all we got time for this week A very long one We just cracked the hour mark yeah. Probably once we edit out The other bits It might not be an hour But I uh, hope you enjoyed We certainly did uh, Yeah, yeah sure it was did. a lovely I lovely do worry night. during NRL season That we could just waffle all day <laughs> I'd like uh, it to worry yeah. about Yeah What else are you going to do with your day Exactly right you Can't just sit at home all the time <laughs> Come down here, have a couple of schooners. Anyway, uh, Conan, thanks for joining us. Pleasure. We'll see you all next week. Bye.